and returned the greatest amount of rock and soil samples. Eugene Cernan, commander of Apollo 17, still holds the distinction of being the last man to walk on the moon, as no humans have visited the moon since December 14, 1972. For more information, log on to www.nasa.gov slash Apollo. As I step off at the surface at Taurus Littrow, we'd like to dedicate the first steps of Apollo 17 to all those who made it possible. That's beautiful. This has got to be one of the most proud moments of my life, I guarantee you. We thank you very much. Hey, do you need me, Gene? Yep. I'm going to go deploy an ALSEP. Have at it. Okay, Bob, I've got my tools of the trade right here. Man, it didn't feel like this stuff was that hard. No, I'll get it. I knew there was something I needed to get do. Get the jack in over here, other side. Let me, let me uh, put some weight here. No, he's going slowly, Bill. Very slowly. I'm going to get this thing out now that I got it. Boys, you know, that's what you call getting down into your work. We'd like you to leave immediately. Okay. My golly, this time goes fast. It's a rock composed of many fragments of many sizes and many shapes. When we return this rock or some of the others like it to Houston, we'd like to share a piece of this rock with so many of the countries throughout the world. We hope that this will be a symbol of what our feelings are, what the feelings of the Apollo program are, and a symbol of mankind that we can live in peace and harmony in the future.